friends got another cool video for you a uh, another new case knife and another new case knife search video to show you here today so what we had to do is we drove out to Mulberry Florida that's in Central Florida home of the phosphate mining industry see tens of millions of years ago they claim that these phosphates were deposited on the land and the retreating waters eventually buried these phosphate beds under tons of sandy soil and this is located about 20 miles due east of Tampa Bay where I live so I took the 20 mile journey and hunt for a Ace Hardware store in Mulberry Florida and about a block before we hit the Ace Hardware store was this little phosphate museum so I stopped in there so I can get a little footage and give you a little bit more information on the phosphate industry. On the way in, check it out, they got this uh, Manchester steam locomotive that was built in the 1880s. They say it's model 4-4-0. And this thing was found buried. They thought it was a piece of pipe and they eventually dug it out and they realized it was an old locomotive now it's missing a bunch of parts and stuff so there's no sense trying to restore it but um it's pretty cool so they just got it parked here on display the way they found it when they pulled it out and uh that's the way a lot of the old equipment look like you know, here in the phosphate industry you know coated like that another thing that's pretty cool is over here next to this drag line bucket they got a big pile of aggregate there and what they do is they allow the kids to come with their buckets and, and get a bucket of that and then they go home and dig through it and there's shark's teeth all in there and here's the fossil museum check out this giant alligator skull that thing looks pretty mean doesn't it that's actually a crocodile not an alligator and this looks like a manatee skeleton sea cow manatee they're all over the place here in Florida. That one's a pretty complete skeleton. All right, now this is my favorite. Check out this turtle, huh? Man, how cool would it be to have this as a display in your house, in your flower bed, you know, in between your tomato plants or whatever? It just looks so cool. He's up inside his shell. What a great fossil that is. And that was worth stopping in there just by itself. We got some mastodon mandibles here, all kinds of little pieces of vertebrae and stuff like that. And um, here's a African elephant skull. And uh, kind of strange those holes there in the forehead, huh? And here's this tusk. I guess they just wanted you to see the tusk up on the display there. And over here we got some alligators and some other little pieces of stuff. I'm telling you, the phosphate mines I've worked out there when I back in my 20s, it was loaded with this stuff. What they do is they they dig it up out of the ground with a drag line, and they use water cannons to flush it, and then they pump it through pipes back to the plant to process it. And when they move where they do the um, the power washing all these fossils are just laid down in there so we would wait till they moved it we'd go down in there and and dig around we'd find big old shark's teeth like that sometimes you know it's missing a corner well actually most of the time so if you found a good one like that you get 80 100 bucks that's what people would pay for them so we would search those all the time there's a whole jawbone off of a what is that a lemon shark or something that looks a lot newer. I don't think that's a fossil they dug out of the mine. And here's some old uh, caveman tools that they used to carve up the uh, dinosaurs with. Saber-toothed tiger. Look at that. Look at those big old fangs. Huh? How would you like to have that thing chasing you? You up in a tree and that thing down bottom waiting to eat at you. I have no idea what this is, but it's pretty mean looking also. Alright, so we went the block down to the Ace Hardware. Never been here before, but I decided to check it out. So let's go in there and see what kind of knives they have. But before we do, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. 
like this video and share it to any of your friends that like similar knife content. That's what helps the channel out. Thank you. Alright, so inside fully stocked Ace Hardware was this small knife display and it had its gerbers, gerbers sitting there next to it but then it had the case knives but if you look these aren't actually case knives those are magnets of case knives if you see that girl there and this other girl next to her here uh, these two girls they couldn't have been more than 18 19 years old but let me tell you they knew more about case knives and hardware than most people I've ever seen in Ace Hardware kudos to them they were a joy to talk to just some really cool girls there at that Ace Hardware in Mulberry. But um, down bottom you had these, um, you know, stag handled ones. Here's a uh, smooth synthetic yellow CV pin. Here's another stag here. I'm not sure. At first I thought that was a fish knife, but it's not. If somebody knows what that is, let me know. And here's a uh, two bladed peanut. And you got a mosaic trapper right here, that blue one. That looks pretty, but if you're not a mos uh, mason, you know, why well, get it? That is a, uh, I I've seen this one quite a few times. I love that knife there. I'm going to have to pick one up. And this is the first time I've actually seen these soft, soft Arkansas stones in a long time. But up here, like I said, these are all just the magnets. But the girls told me that... They pull the magnets if they don't have the knives. So every knife that you see a representative by a magnet here, those knives are actually in stock inside there. And she opened it up, and that thing was slam full. So they actually got quite a few knives for such a small display. Unfortunately, these are all the traditional knives that you see Case has out here lately. You know, all these trappers and... Um, you know, I think they have more trappers here than anything, but nothing that really excited me, you know, in the colors. I think it's the same knives we've been seeing all along. There's some peanuts. There's this small stockman there. That little two-bladed one there is nice, but um, not really a handle color that I'm crazy about. But this gives you an idea of how much the knives are. Each one of them has a price tag there. You can zoom in and check it out. Check out the little toothpick with the saw blade, you know. Hey, check this out. $86.99. That's the same one I just got the other place for $58. I told you it was more than that. Hmm. I'm starting to like those white ones with the red case emblem. That blue one with the XX was, was a nice one. But anyway, I grabbed the knife, and there was something else I needed to grab real quick because I got something scratching around in the shed. Where is it at? Oh, right there. Let me get one of these, and I'll take care of that little pesky booger that's making noise all night. All right, thank you, Ace Hardware and Mulberry. Thanks to the two girls in there. They are awesome. There was a little museum next to it there I stopped and just checked it out and uh, had a little bit of cool artwork going on there uh, they say they do free drinks every second Friday of the month so if you're on Mulberry and you want to see some aliens and get some free drinks here's the guy to see alright so what do we get well it is a yellow synthetic smooth pin number 32887 CV and it was born January 13th of 2022 and let me tell you why I got this knife because this knife reminds me of the exact knife my grandmother used to cut up my apples cut up my uh, bananas open packages for me when I was a little kid this looks like the identical knife now here's a little flyer you know like a case copperhead, Kyle knife, kickstart knife, okay? Same old stuff, you know, nothing exciting coming out, you know, we've seen all that. But this knife's been around for a little bit, so that's an old flyer anyway. Let's get that out of the way. But like I said, this little two-bladed pin, you don't know how many times I've seen this. This Probably one of these was in 
every drawer but this particular one it's got this little spot on the blade right here I didn't see that when I got it look at that it looks like they hit the um, sanding wheel or something with it because it's definitely you can see the grain of sandpaper where it hit a grinding wheel or a sanding wheel or something and you know I know this isn't a perfect knife this is the yellow synthetic and you know they're not show knives they're usually work knives but it's a little bit raised the back spring is but I know how to fix that I can fix that pretty easy when it's closed it's perfectly smooth you do got a slight slight gap right there here let's take another look at that turn it up right here can you see it it's noticeable can't see light through it this side is just about perfect it looks good pins are all smooth none of them protruding and the transition between the bolster and the synthetic scale is perfectly smooth they usually are uh, they do a good job on that there's your emblem and it's uh, recessed down into the synthetic scale and here is that clip point let's check out the case XX stamped into the tang nice and clear nothing on that side there's your nice big sharpening choil right there see that remember the canoe didn't have that on the pin knife let's check out the pin knife and see if it matches the canoe I just got if you saw that movie alright USA 32087 clearly stamped into there and it does have a sharpening choil right there here we can see it better see it does have a small sharpening choil but remember that canoe didn't have it well, let me tell you this here that bugs me a little bit I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do about that if I'm going to send it to them or fix it myself alright specs on the knife let's see what we got we got a blade that's two and five sixteenths overall and it's got a sharpened edge of two and one eighth and let's check out the little pin All right, what do we got inch and seven sixteenths inches yes inch and seven sixteenths and a sharpened edge of right at inch and a quarter on the dot five or I'm sorry three and five sixteenths okay three and five sixteenths All right. it's a cool little blade I like it I want to spend fifty some bucks on it if I didn't think it was cool and it's got some memories for me as well so here's the canoe this is the one I just bought you can see it's a lot smaller than canoe um, it's narrower and it's not as deep either so it's a lot smaller knife but let me tell you I think I'll get more use out of the pin knife than the canoe it's so like I said the canoe has two spear points where the pin has this clip point so you get almost the same cutting performance out of a smaller knife you know you're not going to flip any burgers with it or anything. The canoe's a little twice as wide for doing that kind of work. You know, but who wants to do that kind of work and mess up the etching, you know, that little canoe on the blade? Let's put that one aside. All right, so let's get a little bit of my One Angry Kid knife oil on here because this is a CV blade. And I'm sorry, it's a carbon steel blade, not a CV, carbon steel blade. And a carbon steel blade needs to be protected. And my premium knife oil does a great job of protecting and lubricating. You can get that at oneangrykid.com, along with a lot of other cool stuff. I just added some bushcraft knives and some sharpening straps. So go to oneangrykid.com for your knife supplies, plus I got some some of my video knives I'm posting on there too the ones I don't I decide not to keep and add to my collection I'm putting them on there to turn so you might find some good deals also I got mugs like this one here which is pretty cool also got hats t-shirts and some other stuff alright so that's my ad 
All right, so how sharp is this little booger? Well, let's see. We've had some problems lately with case knives. Well, it's not sharpening, but you know what? Let's try this little pin knife real quick and see how it goes. A little better. A little better, but you know what? I'm going to reach full file this whole knife, plus i got a couple things I need to fix. So instead of stropping it or anything... I'm going to make a new video on this knife and take care of those issues. Alright. But other than that, this is going to be a user knife. I'm going to carry this a lot. You're going to see it on the channel a lot. Alright. Well, once again, don't forget, OneAngryKid.com for your knife supplies. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Please take a moment to share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. And thanks for watching.